Hello guys, welcome to another Honda Element video. Today we are going to show my stereo setup and just kind of show you what I use and the way I set it up, hoping that it can help somebody trying to replace their factory. So I got a Android stereo. This is uh Let's check. It's a brand. Is well known. I bought it in Amazon's for around a hundred and sixty-two dollars. Real price was like two twenty, I think, but it was a used one. Had it for a few months already, working great. There is the part number. It's a G eight two one eight seven. Okay, this is a detachable stereo. As you see, I can remove the screen. And I put it right here just to show you the box. Also, they have single single bin stereo. This is a two or dual bin stereo, and some of them you cannot remove like the monitor. But I just like to have the one that I can remove it. Like sometimes if I go out or like I'm hiking and I park my car, and I don't want people to see I have this fancy stereo. So, this is the first thing that you're going to need. And stereo. And then also this hardness connector that is going to make this installation a piece of cake. So, this is very important. Okay? So, you don't have to like figure it out with wiring and everything. It's, this one just kind of like plugs to the factory connector and to the stereo connector. And this one is part number A H A zero A V, and as you see, it is for ninety eight to two thousand eleven Honda Power speaker connector. So I bought these two in Amazon's, okay. And let's just imagine that you guys have right now your normal stereo, the factory one, and the way to remove it is by using this plastic tool that also comes with with the stereo so you don't damage anything when you pry this plastic like for example when i bought this car this one already had another stereo and i don't know if you guys see it but right here somebody put on a screwdriver and pry on it and they damage it don't do that guys okay use this tool it's a plastic tool that it won't damage it and also you're gonna need a, a screwdriver a Phillips screwdriver, but in this case it's gonna going to use this one. That's what you're going to need to remove the factory stereo. So how you remove the factory stereo? You just pry on the plastic thing here. You see how it pop up? And right here. But it already pop up a little bit here, so let's see. It's a little, a little bit harder for me to do it with one hand because I'm recording, but just want to give you guys an idea then once size pop then you can kind of play with the till and with the tool and pop it out like I said I'm doing it with one hand so it's a little bit harder okay now I pop it out just kind of play with the tool and this one is not held by any bolts, nothing. This is just held by clips. And also, guys, if you like this design, I didn't do this. It came with the card. It's pretty nice. It's like a fiber style. And it's just a sticker. I, I can tell the maybe the last owner, he put on a sticker on top of the plastic, which I think it looks really nice. Okay, so I take out this, put it by the side. And then once you take out that, in your factory stereo you are going to find four bolts which are going to be this one you can either use a a millimeter socket or you can use a phillip screwdriver okay this is a flat screwdriver also it can be used but the best is you are using a phillips or a a millimeter if it gets harder to take it out so we lose all these four bolts that comes in the factory stereo that way you guys can pop out the factory stereo okay in this case i already installed my i'm just opening it 
opening to show you guys this and also because I'm going to rewire one of my speakers which is going to be the one in the in the middle because once I installed with this stereo and I installed it with the connector that I show you everything was working fine but the woofer I never hear the woofer and then I was researching some information online and I find uh, the way to make it work the sad woofer with this aftermarket stereo so I'm going to try that too I'm going to make another video for that okay guys if you guys are interested after I connect my stereo I didn't really like the sound especially when I volume up a little bit and I open the speakers in the doors like pretty easy to open this the easiest car I, I open over there and in the back in the back seats and the speakers were really bad they were broken and I bought four speakers for a really good deal Kingwood brand and they sound amazing now problem was fixed but I was like hmm I think the subwoofer in the middle is supposed to work and have some nice bass but I never hear it so I will do another video for that so let's imagine this is the factory stereo so you guys remove the four balls then you pull it out right pull it out very carefully okay so we pull it out and let me show you guys what's inside here because it's pretty easy to install the aftermarket stereo so here is the stereo now and this is how the wiring looks I know it's a lot of wires but you will figure it out once you get the stereo you just keep plugging all these wires and what is gonna make it really easy is that you are going to get this connector right here that is gonna go like the metal between the original connector which is the light blue that you see over there with the white right here and then you're gonna plug this connector which I already showed the part number and then it plugs to the connector where where it goes with the with the aftermarket stereo okay so that's it this connector is going to make the magic after that everything else like for example this one is going to get not connected unless you you're gonna use like an amplifier for a subwoofer you know like a rear camera and everything i'm gonna do separate videos once i get on my rear camera i didn't get it yet so but at least you guys have an idea like you know which stereo I, stereo i use which connector and it's not hard to do just plug and play and then for the rear camera for the subwoofer i'm going to make a separate video what else well i also have uh tpm T tpms is a tire pressure monitor system so this car came without like the wiring for when the tire is low in in air so i did install one i bought one for like i think 50 dollars in amazon which is pretty easy to install it's just a small box that i have under here that plugs straight to the usb right here so you basically just plug it to the usb and then download an application in the stereo and i will show you how it looks after connecting all the wires i put back this unit and if you notice it's held by these plastic things right here these ones can be buy or reuse from the factory stereo so as you see this plastic here at uh, four ball three balls are holding it and then you just can kind of put it where you like it so the stereo can go up up or down a little bit not much really but it has one in this side and another one in the other side and then you're just going to put it in all the way
and then as you see it's going to sit flat with the original part then we are going to reinstall the four bolts just plug the monitor pretty easy to plug this is plug and play but what i did i just like from here inside i plug it like i mean i run the cable so i can have access in the back of this glove box and then i will show you i got sensors on the tires sensors right here in each tire and they are not easy to take out it comes with a with a tool that you can lock it in, in place so they are not easy to take out and what i can do is come here as you see it's always going to show every time you start the car the tpms tpms is okay tire pressure is okay i'm going to open that application and you will see what i'm talking about now it's taking a while but okay there we go it was fast and as you see in the left front tire i have 36 psi 37 37 and 37 so i'm right on the specs i think the specs for the oem tires are around 32 but i have an all-terrain tires that's what i'm having this so you can kind of play with it and see which air pressure works the best and what i like also of this is like you can go to settings and you can like make a alarm warning if the pressure goes under certain psi that you want it to be or if it goes like in higher temperatures it shows you temperatures and and psi so that's pretty nice pretty nice i hope you guys like it and you got an idea of what the stereo can be connected in the honda elements see you next video almost forget and this is theory also is pretty flush with the ac vent so it won't block any air and you can always steal this stereo up and down i can still put it down a little bit more you know i just took it out before to show you guys but this one goes out a little bit maybe like this much and then it won't block at all the the ac vents as you see and it has a very nice gap to here Bye-bye.